this is one of my new favourites. He just wants friends. People don't know my name. <laughs> Welcome back to another vlog. This is quite literally just gonna be me living my life. We've not got anything in particular on the go this week and I am quite grateful for it because it's been a busy time recently and it's going to be a busy time ahead. I am already preparing for October content because my September is gonna be so intense that I like, I need to get things going now. So this is probably the calmest week I will have before a very long storm. So I'm taking it for what it is and I'm gonna be using every evening I can to read, including this evening. Currently doing reading sprints with my Patreons. So I do need to go back before the sprint ends, but I'm currently reading Studying Drowning by Avery Reed. I'll tell you a little bit more about what this book is about a little bit later in the vlog, once I've read a little bit more of it. And I'm gonna try and also read Evocation by S.D. Gibson because I got a really exciting arc of this. And that one's also Dark Academia, so we can have a little bit of a Dark Academia themed reading this week. And I am very excited for that because I, I feel the autumn air calling me. I'm embracing Dark Academia season right now so I am going to read some more of A Study in Drowning this evening with my patrons. I also do need to finish up editing my bath vlog which I'm probably going to do after sprints because I've only got a little bit more that I need to do and then we'll see where the rest of the week takes me. It is largely just working but I don't really have any plans for the weekend or anything so we'll see what I get up to. <laughs> is now Saturday. <laughs> so it turns out this is largely just going to be a weekend vlog because this week has been something. It's really been something. I had a few problems with the old brain and spent most of the week doing not much of anything. I really found it quite hard to find the motivation to do anything this week. So I just kind of let myself feel that for a bit and now we're having a reset weekend. But during the week, I did read <laughs> a vacation. And I have to tell you about this book, guys, because this is one of my new favourites. I'm so happy that I've read this book and I already want book two, which is a little bit devastating considering this book doesn't even come out until May next year. So I'm going to be waiting a while for book two. But this is one of S.T. Gibson's... I never know whether to call her Saint Gibson or S.T. Gibson because she's called Saint and that's what this like acronym can stand for, but she could also just have a middle name that begins with T. So I don't know. <laughs> but Evocation is a dark academia fantasy book that I have been so excited for and I'm just so pleased that it lived up to my excitement for it because in this one we are following a guy called David who is trying to get rid of this family curse. But the thing is the only person he knows to go to is his ex who has now moved on and found a girlfriend. So his ex isn't too keen on him getting back in touch with him after all of the problems that they had. And we're just seeing them try to work together to break this curse alongside also being rivals to basically become the top dog at this society that they both are part of. And this does end up becoming a polyamorous relationship between the three people. So we have David who is a medium, Reese, who is a sorcerer and Moira who is an astrologer. And oh my god, I <laughs> I just 
can't get over how much I loved, loved, love reading about this dynamic because these three people are such a messy situation that is just delicious to read. Like, <laughs> I don't think I've ever use the word delicious to describe a book and honestly that kind of gave me the ick a little bit. I don't like doing that. But throughout this book, you see such conflict between all of these characters and what they're feeling. You see them coming to terms with each other and the situation that they're in. And you see them start to figure it out. You see them start to learn how to get along with each other, how their relationship dynamic is gonna work. And it's just so wholesome. And oh my God, I, <laughs> I would die for David. And I think I almost did die for David. I, pff, he's just such a sad boy. <laughs> he just wants friends. He literally just wants friends. And he made me so sad that I was rooting for him this entire time. No matter what he did, I was just like, justice for David. <laughs> One thing I will say is that I do wish it kind of delved a little bit more into the academia side of things just because there's so much potential to learning about the magic and especially this kind of secret society vibe they've got going on. There wasn't really too much actually seen of that and what they do there. But at the same time, it meant that this story felt quite personal on a very deep level because it was clearly a big problem for them and you were so thoroughly involved within that story that while it was quite contained to these three characters as opposed to like the big grand epic stories that I typically read in fantasy, you were very much involved in the story. You were thoroughly swept up in this inflated sense of drama and I just loved it. I think S.T. Gibson is so talented at creating an atmosphere that is kind of like this gothic dramatic sense of grandeur because I saw it both in A Diary of Blood and now this book as well and I just I cannot wait to read everything else she brings out in the future because I think she is just such a talented author. I absolutely love this. It's one of my new favourite books and I already want to reread it. I want the second book. I want everything. She does also have An Education of Malice coming out which is kind of like a companion novel to A Diary of Blood and I just I need it. But yeah, five stars, absolutely adore it. Please add this to your wish list for next year because it's so good, it's so good. And then I'm just having a great time at the minute with reading because I am about halfway through A Study in Drowning, which is another fantasy dark academia book. And again, I'm really loving it. I am having such a good time. So in this one, we are following Effie, who is an architecture student and she ends up being wrapped up in this project to do with an author's manor house. So there is an author who she is absolutely obsessed with. She has been since childhood and she did want to become a literature student but that is one of the most like top tier degrees that somebody could do and within the society it's not the sort of degree that a woman can do. So she ends up doing architecture instead which is kind of like the, the second best option for her but she desperately wants to be involved with literature in some way and she ends up seeing this project in which her favourite author who has recently passed away, his family is asking people to help undertake a project to kind of re revamp the manor house because the manor house is this looming building that is on the edge of a cliff, fallen apart, very much beaten by the elements and they need help to bring it back to life. So Effie goes on this project and she's hoping for all of these grand things, seeing the family home of her favourite author. However, when she gets there, she's actually met with another student who is trying to prove that her author is a fraud. So we have an academic rival situation going on, but there also seems to be some other things going on in the background some strange and looming threats in the peripheral vision of these characters and I, I, I'm really loving this, like I said. I think that Ava Reed again is an author who can just really effectively write a kind of gloomy atmosphere, which is definitely the vibe you need with this book because if you think about a lot of the small island atmospheres of having just constant grey rain, the threat of the sea, stormy weather, that is the vibe of this book and when you tie that in with this dark academia aesthetic that is very much paired with both of these students, how much they care about their studies, as well as just the general vibe of having candlelit rooms and of what they're wearing and things. It's just exactly what I wanted to read at this point because I have been in such a dark academia mood recently and I definitely feel like I'm indulging it with these two books but so far I've only just gotten to the part where the kind of looming sense of danger slash discomfort is arising in the story so I am very intrigued to see how far this actually delves into the fantasy because at the minute we're kind of on this rocky situation where we don't quite know if the fantasy is actually fantasy or if it's our main character having some kind of psychological break because 
right from the get-go it breaks down how much you can trust her perspective because she's on medication for psychological issues of some kind. It hasn't been stated yet what those are but she seems to have visions and I'm intrigued to see which way this sways if it's ever decided at all or if it's left to you to decide. I don't know, but I'm so excited to get back to this book. I'm going to be reading it tonight. But in the meantime, I am actually going to spend some time journaling because you will have seen in my most recent vlog, if I can ever get it up, because oh my god, I've been trying to export this vlog literally for about four days now, and it's just refusing to do it, and I don't know why. Every single time I try, it keeps saying that I can't render a certain part of it but that part changes every single time so I just don't really know what's going on because it's not even like it's getting any further into the timeline. It's like it'll do five minutes and then decide it can't render anymore so then I'll delete the bit that it's having a problem with but then when I try it again it'll suddenly have a problem like two minutes in even though it's just managed to do it before so I just I don't know what's happening but I'm trying something else now so hopefully that's gonna work because I want this video to go tomorrow. But anyway, that is going to be my bath vlog when it eventually reaches the internet. But I do have a travel journal. So this is my little travel journal. I say little, it's not, <laughs> it's not quite small anymore. I do get questions on where this is from. Um, the answer is Turkey. <laughs> I didn't buy this. This was a gift from my dad. I think a couple of years ago now on one of his trips to Turkey and I didn't really know what to use it for initially because it's quite it's not like a normal notebook it's got a very specific type of paper I don't know what that type is but it's just like a, a more yellowed look and it's very very smooth but because of just how pretty it is if I remove this you'll see why this is here in a minute but if I remove this ribbon it is just such a beautifully made book that I wanted to use it for a very specific reason and that reason has now become my travel journal so every time I visit a new place I tend to journal it in here and I haven't done so in a while so I don't know if I'm actually missing anything but I'm gonna journal my bath trip. I typically do a double page spread for every place I visit and I think that with this next kind of addition to the journal it's probably not going to close anymore because it does have this clasp which I really love but it doesn't allow much room for like expansion and I love having a thick journal. I love sticking things in. I tend to make like little pockets and things so that I can add more photos and make it a bit more of like a, an interactive thing to flip through. And I just like having lots of like 3D elements in it. So things like this, I don't know how well you can tell, but this is actually a pocket behind the photo. So I've got just like a whole stack of photos tucked in here. So I love doing things like that. And I think that with my next edition, I'm gonna end up not being able to close this anymore, which is why I have the ribbon with it because it's probably gonna have to be tied shut from here on out. But you'll probably be seeing this a fair few times over the next couple of months because I have two trips abroad coming up very, very swiftly. I'm going to both Croatia and Italy in September. I think the Croatia trip is literally in about two weeks, even less by the time you guys see this video. And they are actually group trips with some of you guys. I cannot believe how quickly they've come around. It is insane. So you're gonna see a couple of travel vlogs coming your way through the next couple of months. But along with that, we're gonna be updating the travel journal. So you're probably gonna see this a fair few times. And if you are actually interested in just traveling in general. You can join us. You can join us on these trips. So in February, me and Becca are actually hosting a trip to Thailand, which is... <sighs> I cannot even express like how mind-blowing I find that. But we are going to Thailand. This trip covers both Bangkok and Chiang Mai, so if you fancy a trip there, it's like a massive foodie tour. We're just hitting up all of the like local food spots, some of the old towns. It's such an incredible itinerary. I'm not going to go through it all now, but there is a link down in the description box to just the page in general where you can find out all of the information, pricing, everything that's included. There is quite a lot included. It's pretty much just your flights that isn't. But otherwise, like accommodation, food, everything is covered. And you can join myself and Becca on what a hell of a trip. I can't believe that's actually happening. But yeah, that's another one that's going to be coming up and added to this journal in the future but for now I'm gonna journal my bath trip and I'm not really sure what vibe I'm gonna go with for this one. I'm thinking the kind of dark academia, I'm thinking like a dark academia, light academia type situation because the buildings in Bath definitely had that vibe so I think that's what we're gonna end up going with for this. And then hopefully, I don't know if it's gonna happen today, it might be a tomorrow job but I do actually need to also update my reading journal because I haven't done this in a while. 
um, in quite a while actually so it's gonna take me a long time to update. One thing I did realize though is that I seem to already be like halfway through this so it's probably a good job that I was only intending to use this for 2023 because I am swiftly getting through it but yeah. We're gonna have a journaling weekend. We're gonna have a little bit of a reset. I might do some tarot. I need to do some cleaning, but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow because that's very much like a Sunday reset task in my brain. So for today, I am quite literally just gonna pop on some music, gonna journal and just have a little bit of a, a Zen time. <laughs>
So it is now Sunday and I didn't do any reading yesterday besides like five pages while I was in the coffee shop in the morning because when I started doing my journaling I had no intention to paint but then painting I ended up doing. I'm just like awkwardly crouched down because I can't be bothered moving my camera but I didn't realise I hadn't yet journaled about my reaching the summit of a mountain for the first time. <laughs> which was a couple of months ago now, so I started filling in that journal spread and I just decided to paint some mountains on, so I had to wait quite a while for that paint to dry. And in the meantime, I ended up kind of just like revamping a whole bunch of things because I have been taking some Instagram photos because I do like to have them all kind of ready in advance. And there was one that I took that turned out really dramatic <laughs> that had me in it. And I showed my friends Lauren and Shannon and Lauren was basically just like, you need to make that your new profile picture. So I started faffing around with some things and it basically led to this whole like mini rebrand of sorts because I've been wanting to change my YouTube channel banner for a while now. Previously it was just like a collage of some photos but I wanted to give it a little bit of an update because I just think that generally my photos are better now than they were last year and also it didn't have like my channel name on it or even my name because one thing that I do notice is that absolutely nobody knows how to spell my name. <laughs> it is written on my little like title screen but I don't tend to put those in my vlogs so it's only in my like TBR videos and wrap ups and stuff that people will see that so people don't know my name. <laughs> which I find quite funny, but I thought it would be helpful to kind of put it somewhere, even though it is really small on mobile devices. But I'm really pleased with how my header ended up turning out because I think that this just looks a lot more like the vibe that I was wanting to go for. It's kind of like gothic, dark academia, but still cozy and warm toned and autumnal. I just love it. And Lauren described my new profile picture as vampy dark academia, which is definitely a vibe I can work with. So. We've had a little bit of a revamp and I finally managed to get my video to export. Oh my god, it took four days for me to fix that. I basically had to remove all of the like colour correcting that I usually do on my videos. I don't know why it wasn't working, it just did not like it for this vlog. So I've removed all that and I'm not entirely pleased by that, but at least we've got a video going up now. I was really concerned for a moment that I would have to just delete the video, which would have been such a shame because it is Bath, which is a beautiful city. It's actually where Bridgerton was filmed as well, which is fun. So I'm glad that that video is finally scheduled to go up and I ended up needing to make my thumbnail for that. So it was just a lot of like, graphics making yesterday and I'm actually going to continue doing that now. So I need to make a graphic for the book club announcement on my Patreon for September and October's read. We've got some spooky season reading happening and I am very excited for that. I did do an update post on Patreon last night, literally at like midnight, maybe closer to 1am, just because these are when my, my thoughts come out and I like to have a little babble. It is actually quite a Patreon heavy weekend for me because I also have my coven call later today, which is basically in one of my tiers, which is called the coven. We meet up for a video chat and just have a catch up once a month. It's usually on the last Sunday of the month, but because I'm busy next Sunday, I've pulled it forward to today. So I've got that this evening. That's not until 7 p.m. So in the meantime, I'm going to make some graphics. I need to, like I said, do the book club announcement. And I do actually want to create some new like Instagram templates for myself for sharing videos because at the minute I just kind of throw up <laughs> the thumbnail and I want some new backgrounds to make it just look a bit more cohesive but I don't know if that's going to be a today task because I do also want to finish reading A Study in Drowning but I have like half of that book left still so I feel like today it's just one of those days where there's so many things I want to do and I'm not entirely convinced I've got enough time to do it all because I do also want to clean my flat like quite extensively so 
I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'll figure it out as we go, I'm sure. Hello. We're just gonna ignore whatever shambles this is. We're gonna talk about a study in drowning. I just, I haven't been awake long, okay? <laughs> I was meant to go out today, but that's just not happening. Do you know when you just need a day of... No. <laughs> That's today. But anyway, finished A Study in Drowning and this is just, it's a really good Dark Academia book. I am so happy to have found two Dark Academia books that are just really good because I feel like over the past like year or two when it started to become a thing there's been an influx of books that could be sort of categorised within this aesthetic or subgenre that I just haven't really gotten along with or it's not been what I've been looking for. But one thing that I loved about Studying Drowning is that even though we do have this more fantastical plotline or this mystery of sorts, it does also actually engage with the idea of academia. So as I said earlier on in the video, a literature degree in this world is one of the most prestigious types of degrees you could get. It's very up there as far as qualifications go and there's a lot of conversations about the ownership of stories, what it means to claim ownership over your experience as a reader, the difference between reading recreationally and also reading academically, and just the space that academia takes up and what it can do to these texts that are being studied so intensely and it's all the sort of thing that I would speak about and study and write about when I was in university so this just hit, this is gonna hit like every literature girly trust me. <laughs> And it almost felt nostalgic because of that and I could really relate to Effie as a main character because her love and also just internal debate about whether she can still enjoy an author or respect an author who she's discovering all of these secrets about is really something that does come to mind as a literature student and so all of my own like university days were coming out and I was just like I, I've been there, I've been there. <laughs> I will say as well, this one differs in the characters, I would say, as far as Dark Academia goes, because a lot of Dark Academia books tend to have quite snooty, pretentious characters, whereas this book, the characters feel softer, not in a bad way. I feel like a lot of people take that as like a bad connotation, but more in the sense that they are just anxious and quite subdued. They're not overly pretentious or being a dick, quite frankly, because that is a lot of dark academia characters out there. So you can really root for these characters and just imagine yourself in their situation. And it is a very isolated situation. You do quite literally become somewhat stranded within this manor house on the edge of a cliff and there are moments where it is inescapable and you can really feel that. So it's very, very easy to get caught up in this book. And I do think that a lot of people are really gonna love this one. So if you are looking for a dark academia book, this spooky season, this autumn, even this winter, I feel like this does have very wintry vibes. This is, this is the book for it. I'm not holding up my copy because I have absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> and I genuinely think you guys might unsubscribe from me if you saw the state of it. It's, it's really something. Maybe I should show it just for, so you can laugh at me, I guess. Oh, okay, bear with. <laughs> Viewer discretion is advised. So this is, this is what's happened to my copy. <laughs> and this goes all the way around. I don't know if you can tell just how terrible this looks. But um, I basically have ripped off the covering. <laughs> So as I was reading, it started peeling on the edge and I just, I can't leave it. I can't leave it. So I started trying to take that little bit off and the entire cover came off. I can't even lie, it was quite satisfying. But yeah, my, my arc of this is destroyed. <laughs> it's well loved. I sound like the Fleabag moment. It's horrendous, it's French. It doesn't help as well that it's really like dirty on the bottom. <laughs> I'm really not helping myself, am I? I don't even know how that happened. I can only presume I did it when I took it to a coffee shop. Don't hate me, guys. I promise I love books. I have actually um, purchased a special edition of this as well, so maybe that can make up for my previous heathenry. <laughs> but yes, so I have had a great time with reading recently. I've read a lot of really good books through August. My TBR has gone wayward. I, once again, had to abandon the Magical Readathon, although I might actually review the prompts that I had and see if I can just change out the books rather than fail it entirely because I do still really want to succeed in that but 
a few things came up with work that means that I had to prioritise other books and just do a little last minute like throw the TBR out the window so the TBR has gone wayward but it's fine it's just books it's not that deep <laughs> I am excited to see what September brings though. I'm gonna be filming my September TBR soon and I feel like there's so many books on it that I need to read for one reason or another. I've got quite a few really exciting arcs to read so you'll see those upcoming and a whole bunch of book clubs and stuff. So yeah, things are intense. Things are really intense this spooky season are going into autumn. So we'll just see how we manage it really. But with all that being said, I am gonna wrap up this vlog. If you made it this far into the video then leave the scroll emoji for all of the Dark Academia books we've got or maybe like a candle or something. And I'd also love to know what you are currently reading down in the comments as well so do let me know. But for now I'm gonna love you and leave you and let you get on with the rest of your day so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did then remember to leave a like and a comment to know that you're here. If not subscribed already then please consider doing so. Down in the description box you'll find information to all of my social media and other bookish stuff as well so be sure to check that out if you haven't already. But for now I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time with a new video. Bye!